with my top set students, with students that I know are going on to do A-level, um, I do extension work with them and I do hard extension work with them um, while we're doing the GCSEs. Um, and sometimes this causes a little bit of a problem because they know A-level stuff. Um, and sometimes in the exam they write the A-level answer instead of the GCSE answer. But you have to remember we're still doing GCSEs. So even if you know the truth, which is A-level, please can we write our GCSE answers down in our GCSE exams? Because the way they've changed the marking structure is that if it's not written on the mark scheme, you're not getting the marks for it. And you don't know how much your examiner knows about A-level chemistry. So even if you've written something that is perfectly scientifically accurate, in fact, probably more scientifically accurate than the GCSE answer, I mean, please just remember these are your GCSE exams and write the GCSE answer down. Um, so this happened like right at the beginning of specification. A student um, noticed something, she asked me a question, and I sat down and explained it to her. Um, it was when there were January exams. So they came out of their January exams and the rest of the class put one thing for the for the answer for the question and she'd put something different for the answer for the question. So they came and asked me about it and I'm kind of like, you're both right. The majority of the class is right for GCSE and this one student was right in real life. Okay, Because I will admit, at GCSE we don't necessarily, sometimes we give you a simplified version of the truth which isn't like the actual truth. Like... Um, sometimes, uh, I don't want to say anything in case, like, I just ruin people's lives. Um, but Santa, he doesn't exist, okay? So when your parents told you that Santa put all the presents under the tree, okay, I just really hope I haven't devastated anyone here. Um, that was kind of like a simplified version of the truth. What actually happens is your parents go to work, they work very hard, they make money, and then they spend a lot of time thinking about your presents and buying them. That's the real truth, okay, which is a lot more complicated than the presents come from Santa. I really, really hope I haven't just destroyed anyone's dreams here, but you're GCSE students, so we should know that Santa doesn't exist. Um, so, if you do know a-level stuff. If your teacher has spent time with you doing extension work or you found out extension work, just don't be too clever in your exams. Because if you write down a fantastic A-level answer but it's not on the GCSE mark scheme, I'm afraid you're not getting the marks for it. Which I know is wrong and unfair, but that's the way it is. Okay, and There's nothing I can do about it, that's just the way things are. Um, it used to be different, but it's not anymore, so don't be too clever for your GCSEs, don't try and show off the examiners, because honestly, the examiners don't care. Um, show off in class all you like, but don't try and show off for the examiners, just give them the answer that they are looking for.